Hello people in the world, my name is James at Ponic Shop and the uh, company, oh, we also have another company in Korea then called uh, Hink System Store in Korea. Right now I'm on a business trip and staying in Korea for learning more um, repairing skill. Um, today I found a very good uh, cleaning solution in Korea here. Uh, today I'd like to introduce one of the you know, world best cleaning solution. It's name called uh, Puko cleaning solution. I don't know what I don't know what the Puko means is, but um, this cleaning solution is pretty good quality. And I mean pretty quality than the oh. one that I used to use. So I'm gonna use this clean prenet cleaning solution to unclog the prenet today. Um right now I have the prenet here I don't know what the condition is. Um, when when I when I checked is um, it detect um, print head uh, working. Okay, uh, when you're repairing the print head for 950, 952, 962 print head, you must check before you uh, repair the print head. First, of all, you gotta check whether it's the print has been detected by the printer or not. If the print head uh, detected as print head not detected, if the print message shows, that means your print is dead. You cannot fix it. Other than that, you know, if you're showing like an ink system fail or or like you know it does it doesn't print right and if you keep on showing like the print message on it, then those things are able to fix. So uh, let me disassemble this printer first. What's going on here? Um. This print head is very expensive in the market. The brand new ones are like $130, dollars Especially 950 print heads are like uh, over $200 these days. So it's it's pretty good, you know, chance to make money out of it. If, you know, if you learn all these skills for how to fix the print head, you probably can make a lot of money out of it. So um, the job keep on, um, Framing the uh, same uh, repairing skills, or the like, something that if I learn something that I didn't know, I'm putting you know back on the YouTube. So, all right, uh, let's see what's going on here. First, I'm gonna check. Okay, the most most major problem with the printer is clogging problem. When it's the problem with the, with the clogging. These nozzles have uh, like a, some st sort of sludge inside the nozzle. That's the one that, that makes the uh, bad quality printing. And also, um, this, this, these are called the vinyl chamber, co uh, the vinyl chamber cover, uh, chamber vinyl actually. Uh, this is the chamber, and this is the vinyl cover. When this vinyl cover is broken or like have an L hole on it, holes on it then you keep on getting like a same deploy message let's say like you put a new cartridge in and showing you the cyan color deploy message and little letter is it looks like working but showing you again like you know black cartridge deploy that means when, when that happens you have to uh check on this the 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 the, 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 the vinyl on here or either the vinyls on the chipboard this is called a chipboard, um, you know where the uh, the chip goes in. See, when this thing's peeling off like this, you have to replace it. You gotta put a new one. When this thing happens, you're also showing the same message, like the play message. Or sometimes when you have a hole in here, it's showing you inconsistent fail on it. Um, Reason for that happening is like uh, you, some of the company when they're manufacturing the cartridges, they put too much air in there and it's got too much pressure in it. 
So when you put the cartridge in here, all the strong pressure air goes into the chamber on top of here and it makes it broken the chamber. So when that happens, like showing your inconsistent fail. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh, happen that when you're lifting the cartridge from the Costco, because they don't remove the excess air. Um, I seen a ton of them happen. So uh, let's check on the um, this is just regular water, distilled water. Oh, before you're doing this, um, this is called, what it called is called um, is chamber clip. Uh, to check in the printhead printing right or not, you gotta see the water comes out from the nozzle. And so you gotta push the uh, clean solution very hard. When that happens, you also have you know, like chamber broken. So you gotta put the clip on top of it. I mean, these are, these are the basic tools you need to repair the printhead properly, actually. I mean, you can still can do it without it, but you know, I'd rather have it if you're gonna do this as your job. Okay, so let me try it. It looks like a black, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it looks like a black uh, color cloud. No, 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 I have a one participator that wants to see how to fix this print, so I told him to come over, come over and take a look. Okay, and I'm going to check on the yellow color. Yeah, it looks like a cloud a little bit. I'm checking on the cyan. Looks good to me. Dif see the differences? Uh, the water comes out straight down with no spaces. Checking on the magenta colors. Yeah, magenta color looks fine to me too. I'm gonna use some of this cleaning solution. Coco cleaning solution. I see the the line gets better. Yep, just unclogged it, everything. I mean some of the very bad hard sludge are sometimes hard to unclog right away. But you know still you can when that happens you can soak this printhead about put on t about uh, this much put a solution about this much and then soak it for like 30 minutes up to like two or three days but no don't don't go more than three days the film's gonna fill up later if you 
could, it could be so too much. Um, yeah, just some close that thing right now. And I'm going to try yellow now. I mean, as you guys know, um, there's no product it guarantee for hundred percent. Even the HP and cartridge clock also. Even I said this clean head solution is very good. You know, it, it, it's not gonna work hundred percent. It depends on your depends on depends on your skill, depends on the condition of the print head, and you know it's all different circumstances that you're pressing on. So, but I'm just trying to get better product and better product to make my work job easier. Okay, I see the yellows on clock just now. It looks like everything's on clock right now, but I'm I'm keep I'm gonna keep on try on uh, cyan and magenta also because the uh, I like I like to have the same liquid in the chamber, not the water base. Okay, it looks perfect to me now. Um, this clear is pretty expensive. I'm mean, not that expensive, but still it's the money. So I'm not gonna use a same clean solution to clean out the. You see all this color mixed up in here, and then it's also all, all chambers got dirty. So you have to clean it out to have the right color out. So I'm gonna use a water for it. So I'm going to soak the chamber with the water to make sure I have, until, until I'm having a clear water out. <laughs> it clog again uh, when I use up water. Hold on, but it's gonna, it's gonna, I mean, there's, there's some sludge left over in the chamber, chamber mesh, so that's why I clog. Yeah, it clogged again, so I'm gonna use a clean solution again to clog it. Because the moon will be so. It's amazing. Just pushing out right away. Well, people gonna tell me, well, uh, and it's just push it out. It's not uh, like uh, uh, worked by the clean solution. Um, from my experience, it worked because uh, when the solution missed the uh, the the pigment basing, it melting right away. If it's not that hard, that's why pushing right away on clogging it. So. If you have too much doubt, you don't have to watch this. No. There's a lot of different videos that you can learn it from. So I'm not saying my video is 100% correct. I'm just having trying to find a better way to fixing this printhead, you know, from my experience. So I'm not like 100% perfect. 
Same thing, this one. I just use the water and then one of the nozzle clogged again. Yep, just push it out again. It's amazing, though. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the uh, left toe. This is for the champ, the, the print head clip for sucking out all the leftover uh, solutions or ink in the chamber. So, so you so make sure you can have a light color out. I'll be right back. I'm going to go uh, wash this, scrub this uh, ink stains from the restroom. Just give me a second. And now it looks pretty clean, pretty clean, clean as you see it. If you think like there's some water on the board, make sure you let it get dry, okay? So you don't get like an electric shock on the board. Now um, I'm going to fix the um, chipboard. As you see, I, I, I showed you in the beginning, there was a uh, vinyl covered up on top up here and then it peeled off. So I'm gonna make it new. Uh, I have to put a new vinyl on top of um, What you can use is, the, um, you can use any kind of tape that can stick on the, stick on top of the, the plastic. But just, if you just put it on top of it with a, uh, just tape on it, it's not gonna stay on. So, what you gotta use is the, uh, lock tight, lock, it's a lock tight 401. It's, a, it's sort of like crazy glue. This is the final that I cut off from the, I mean, got it from the, 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 the new printer boxes. You know, when you, when you're installing the printers in your home, you know, if you didn't throw away your box, then you probably do have these tapes on your box. I'm gonna put it on top of here. So put, put the glue through the, through the edge. 
all the all all the ads. And cut it to that. <clears throat> now it's done. Um, let's put this part back into the print head.
Okay, done now. Um, I'm gonna test the planet after I clean all this dirt or stains. Alright, <clears throat> now I'm gonna test the planet with the print machine, okay? This is the old print head that I had. Oops. When you put uh, like the fuel cartridge on it, it's showing you like a, a tension, and as you see, it, the warning message on it to change it, but and it's stuck on like for 30 seconds. To don't get scared, just warning message from the HP. I'm gonna run running the printer clean one time. Okay. That's how I print. Um, okay. We are, are selling those clean solution for um, $20 per bottle. And also that the chamber clips are $25. And uh, the clip is $5. The blue clip is $5. Uh, yellow suction tips and cylinders comes together. So like a whole set of kits of the print head cleaning thing is like 20, 25, and five, that means like 30, $50, okay? $50 for all these kits together. One little cleaning solution and one uh, print kit, chamber kit and cham chamber clip and one uh, blue clip for the nozzle and one little suction tip and like three of uh, 10 liter cylinder on it, selling for three dollars. And in USA, shipping would be around, I don't know, maybe seven bucks. Uh, if you want it from the other country, other than USA, we're gonna ship it out from uh, Korea. And it depends on your country. Freight cost will be like different, uh, depends on your country, but Mostly around probably twenty to thirty thirty dollars, and if you are looking looking for those clean solutions and clips as a wholesale price, which is you know at least you gotta buy the clean solution for clean solution for ten bottles and ten of the clips and ten of the chamber clips and ten of suction tips. I mean ten kits will be. It will be around. Call me or send me email. Uh, if you're in USA, uh, you can call me or you can text me. Actually, don't call me because I'm staying in Korea right now. So um, you can text me 909-815-6681. 909-815-6681. Wow! Look at this. I got a beautiful result out here. As you see it, now you just made a money out of it. 950 printer, used printer is like around $130. The brand new one is $180 or $200. Now you fix your printer, goddamn printer, with those kits, and you just made the money. Okay? So believe me, you can do it. 
or you can make money out of it. If you wanna repair the free net to make a money, you know, there's a lot of people looking looking for the printer repair shop, printer cleaning repair shop in your area, neighbor area. So, you know, you just put a little uh, Facebook advertisement or whatever, just send, you know, you can make money out of it or, or through the eBay or whatever, you know. So people, listen to me. Let's make money, okay? So um, those kids are $50. And if you want to buy, buy as a book, what's your price? Let me know. You can call me and you can text me 909-815-6681 or send me email sales, S-A-L-E-S -E at proinkshop.com, P-R-O-I-N-K-S-H-O-P.com or um, Kakao Talk. No, you guys don't use the Kakao Talk. Yeah. Um, make sure if you want to call me, you gotta call me during the daytime in Korea, which is uh, time in USA will be around 5 p.m. in Pacific time after that, between 5 to 10 p.m. 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. In, in Pacific time. Eastern time will be, it will be like a 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. So uh, call me if you wanna call me or text me. Or send me email, sales at proinkshop.com. Done! Boom! Let's make money, people!